has two units up. It's running right in. It's pouring right it's out of his cardiac chest, massage though. massage is just not working. Try bags. the internal paddles again. Charge to 50. Hey, Those pressure bags. Charging to 50. Go on, back away, everybody. Clear. Clear. Hold on, hold Clear. On. Come on, Gabe, give us a sign. It's done, isn't it? Oh, oh God, this is... This left ventricle is blown completely out. Sometimes it's just not in our hands, Gabe. Somebody call a rabbi. Time of death, 4.54. John, can I have a minute? Sure. I promise you that we'll look after Lorna. And I promise you that that Dante will, will know all about his godfather. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Happy with you, Gabe. got to believe that I didn't hurt your grandfather. I don't know how your family got to you. Nobody got to me. I figured it out for myself. There's nothing to figure out. I've done stupid things in the past, worse than stupid. But I changed. Thanks to you. Sander, don't. Please. I've never had anybody believe in me. Please don't stop now. I don't have a choice. Yes, you do. You can have faith in me. You can remember who I am. I would never lie to you. You know that in your heart. Yeah, I also know that an eyewitness saw you attack my grandfather. No, it was a witness that lied. Hey, Emily, I need you to believe in me. That I'm somebody. Someone that matters. Before you, I didn't know what love was. And now I do. I love you. I love you. I love you. This doesn't mean anything to you. I love you. Man, don't, Please. Don't. Emily. Don't touch me. Please. Please. I love you. Don't you touch me. Stop it. Did you ever come near any of my family members again? Do you understand me?
Bart, look, this has been a very stressful evening for me. Mm. Poor Lexi. Would you give me a break? Could you just find it in your heart? Are you sure she's got one? <laughs> that woman must be silenced. Permanently. You know, you wouldn't be so strung out if you handed over that 50 grand down payment you promised me. Or would you prefer I just keep stealing your precious antiques? Oh, excuse me. Uh, Lexi, can I talk to you for a second? Um, of course, Jennifer. Uh, would you mind? Oh, sure. It's important for a hostess to mingle with her guests, and don't you worry about me, hon. I'll find some way to amuse myself. <laughs> uh, Lexi, have you seen Hope? Um, is she still upstairs with the baby? Uh, probably. Uh, she and Bo must be getting JT ready to leave. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll just call a cab. I need to get home, but I don't want to rush them. Oh, good idea. Well, Jennifer, it was so nice of you to have come. I mean, you have a good night, okay? Yeah. I'll uh, walk you out. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Well, I guess it's about time we hit the road here. What do you think? Oh, I want to go. Oh, Uncle Mickey, huh? would you mind dropping me off? Hey, it'd be our pleasure, honey. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Lexi, uh, not to be pushy, but could I take home a piece of that delicious cake? Wasn't it yummy? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. it was positively <laughs> sinful. <laughs> yes, yes, it was. Um, unfortunately, the cake has already been put away. Well, that's no problem, and you don't have to lift a finger. I'll just ease on into the kitchen and whack off a few slices. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, truly, I mean, I wouldn't want you to get frosting all over that beautiful dress. I'll tell you what. I'll see to it that the cook wraps it up and has it all delivered to your house. Okay? Well, Lexi, that won't really be necessary. <laughs> uh, really, I insist, Doug. Well, um, Honey, honey, um, our guests were just saying good night. Um, we're so glad you could have made it, aren't we, honey? Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's great seeing all of you. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's time for us uh, to leave. Thanks again for the uh, ride. <laughs> not so fast. None of us are leaving yet. Suction. Hurry up. What's her sat? Ninety. And her and her blood pressure's dropping fast again. I hate working against the clock. Okay, I think I can extract the bullet. Just don't rush, Dr. Newman. Don't rush. Ow! Cut my hand. Oh. I'm oh, bleeding under the glove. Cora, oh, pull it off. Is it all right? Oh, it's bad. Oh, damn it. Paula, start an IV on me. Normal saline, 150 cc's an hour. Are you strong enough, Dr. Hudson? John, are you crazy? No, I'm just dehydrated. Go and take care of your hand. Oh, I didn't mean to let you down. I can't you believe... didn't let me down, Dr. Newman. Now go and take care of that hand. It's going to be important to an awful lot of people later on in your career. Watch out when you go after that bullet. I cut myself on a piece I didn't see. Go down to the ER and have Dr. Bishop take a look at that hand. Make sure that there's no nerve damage. Somebody call the ER. Tell them Dr. Newman's on the way down, please. Sorry. Courtney, we need your full concentration and all of your help here, okay? Seven bursts in VTAC. Sustained VTAC. No pulse. CPR. Guard the defibrillator 200 and stand by. CPR, come on, let's go. She's asked already. Breather, bagger, come on, let's go. 